bit badger and it is the best silver tip that I've got. I have a new razor to share with you today. It is a razor from Yates Precision Manufacturing. It comes in a lovely tin like this. You can see all the information on the front and on the back there is a little sticker that tells you all about the razor that is inside. So it tells you about the plate geometry, what type of safety bar you have, what type of material it is made from and the finish that has been applied. So when you open it up by just easing these stickers back, you get the same card inside and I won't hold it too close to the camera because it'll white out the camera but perhaps you'll be able to see some of the options there. The plate geometry we've got the choice of mid, high or extra high. The safety bar we've got the option of solid, scallop, open comb or a hybrid. For material we've got 316 stainless steel, titanium, you can sign up for that at the moment. There is also a brass and a copper option. And for the finish we've got stone wash, bead blast, as machined, brushed and polished. So the razor I have got, you will see in a moment, there we are, this is made from recycled material. Two nice finger and thumb holes there to pull that away. And the razor and a pack of blades are safely stored there. This is the long handled version of their razor, which is the 921M. But there is a short handle that you can purchase to go with this. It is entirely designed and manufactured in America. You can see it's got that flat top to the head. So if you chose to, you could store it like that. And this one has the mid plate with the, oh, the mid plate with the scalloped Safety bar there, you can see it uh, is 316 stainless steel and this one is their bead blasted finish. It has the logo on the top cap there. I'm personally not a fan of that but this is quite a discreet logo I must say. On the underside of the razor, let me unscrew the handle so I can read it a little better. It says the model 921M and it has a serial number and this is number 564. It is a very, very well made razor uh, indeed. Um, beautifully finished, really nicely finished. It's got the posts are plenty long enough. And we'll put that together with um, a Persona Red. And I've got one open and ready. This is this blade's second use. So we'll pop that in. I do like these blades. I don't pull them out as often as I should. And seeing as there was a packet included with the razor, I will pop it in. And I should say this was kindly sent to me by Jacob and Ashley Yates, the owners of Yates Precision Manufacturing. Um, I know my friend Sven bought a razor from them and was talking about the channel and how honest my reviews are and they kindly sent this razor for review. So uh, we'll be going with that today. But uh, Jacob and Ashley Thank you very much. It came 
as a surprise to me, which was very nice indeed. And I've just opened it up this weekend. Now we'll just damp my face a little bit. I think I'm going to like this razor because I can tell you straight away that the mid plate is a neutral exposure and uh, I am a fan of neutrally exposed razors on the whole. The high level plate has a positive exposure as does the extra high level plate but uh, Yes, this mid-level plate is uh, neutral exposure, so I'm going to look forward to that. Now the barber shop. This was the sample that I used before, and this one smells very, very different to the one I had recently. Um, this first one smells very chocolatey and uh, when I shaved with this yeah I'm getting chocolate and vanilla from that and there are other things in there but it's the chocolate that is hitting me the most with this sample straight out of the tub I'm getting much more of what I would call a barber shop scent, although it is very different from any barber shop I've tried before, I think. But I'm getting some citrus and some vanilla and some scents in the background that I can't pick up. Actually, if you asked me which was the best, I couldn't tell you because I, I really like them both. I like a chocolatey scented shaving soap and I like a barbershop scented shaving soap so in those two samples I've probably got the best of both worlds there as always with sterling it lathers up beautifully I use just a little bit more than my normal quarter teaspoon in the bowl because I thought this Big brush might just take the soap out of the bowl. Needn't have worried. There's plenty of soap here. Absolutely plenty. And this is why people use silver tip brushes. I think there is absolutely no prickle on this. It is really nice to use whichever way you use it. It does tend, there's a lot of soap in that brush, so it does in a way tend to kind of steal the soap away a little bit. There we go, I think that will do. It's our longest day of the year today, and typically for us it is pouring down. It's rather grim, so I hope you, wherever you are in the world, are enjoying some sunshine today. Now, here we go with this long handled razor. Now, I prefer a shorter handle, but I know a lot of you guys do like a long handle. And I think um, Gillette probably were the first to sort of deal with that in their Super 109 adjustable razor that came out in the 70s. This is a thin long handle with a little bit of weight on the end there to counterbalance the weight of the head. It is a beautifully balanced razor. The balance point, I'm not going to let go of it, is just about there. I'm going to hold it just slightly above that on that 
knurling there. Uh, it fits in my hand really very nicely. Um, yeah, so let's get going, shall we, with the first pass on this razor. It reminds me a little bit of the shape of the Henson razor or Fine's Marvel razor, that sort of flat head cap. First impression is really very good. It's I find with this style of razor or this style of head cap that the, the shaving angle is really intuitive and you just kind of fall into the right position. This is really nice. Stainless steel razor made in America with those different finishes that I mentioned and it sells for $125 although the polished stainless steel version is the only one that's a little bit extra that is $145 American dollars to say this bead finish is a very nice it's um it's a satin finish for want of a different word really nice So there we are, that's that side done it. It's a nice shave. It's um it feels very smooth. I'm being careful to be uh, as light as I can be. It is quite a hefty razor at 93 grams. As always here, the, uh, the sterling soap has plenty of slickness. Now I know from uh, watching a couple of videos that um, Jake and Ashley have improved the packaging for this riser. It comes obviously in the po cardboard posted box with plenty of uh, eco-friendly packaging inside. When you pull out that tin that was a really nice surprise to see that in the packet. I think it's uh, I think it's a lovely touch that tin with the razor sat inside. I like the touch of the card and the sticker on the back. So they're double checking what they put in the tin. Um, yeah, very good. That was a terrific first pass. Uh, 
There we are, just work this soap in my bowl a little bit more. Do you know, I was looking for a bowl the other day and I saw a shaving bowl that was essentially half a coconut shell. And I uh, saw one on a shaving site. And basically it was a coconut cut in half and the shell was polished and it was um, oh, 23 pounds or something like that. Quite by chance I was on a site looking for something for the kitchen later on in the day. And there was a coconut bowl there, exactly the same, half a coconut, polished little bit rough and on the inside and it was two pounds so um i bought one and um well that'll be coming in the post within the next week or so so it'll be very interesting to see what that's like to see if it's you know too smooth on the inside or but for two pounds oh, i just I couldn't leave it there, you know. Twenty odd pounds for half a coconut, come on. That there is why I don't use a ceramic bowl very often. Here we go now. Second pass, I'm going to go with the grain again. A kind of with the grain, across the grain combo. I like the style of this riser. It's quite, how can I put it? It's a, a very functional looking riser. Um, I'll think about that a little bit more. Now it's really, I'll tell you straight away, it's really smooth. There was a little tiny bit of blade feel on that first pass. It's got a um, quarter inch blade gap, that's 0.64 millimeters. So that was the only reason there was that little touch of blade feel. It, on the second pass, as similar to other razors, the feel of that blade has pretty much disappeared. In fact, it has disappeared. And although I said that I prefer a short handle, yeah, see that, that blade felt completely disappeared there. And because I'm not used to this razor yet, it made me really question whether I had the right angle. And of course I did. What I'm getting is a very nice close shave. I can tell you that straight away. Just because there is a lack of blade feel there does not mean you're getting, or it doesn't mean you're not getting a good shave. That's perhaps a better way of putting it. Second pass. Now you can 
just don't know really sort of rapper like that. But if you are somewhat clumsy or like me, I would knock that over like that. That handle is a little bit narrow, even though it has got the wider base for me to do that. I'm not going to risk it. Well, by far my best badger brush, but by far my best silver tip. Fantastic. Very different scent on that soap now. You know, I can't put a mind to what it is. It doesn't give me any indication on the uh, Sterling website, so it remains a bit of a mystery. But I do like this soap. Good day today. Nice soap, nice razor. I like this actually. The, the long thin handle feels very comfortable for me. Um, you know, it's just sort of sitting there in my hand. And it's quite nice, it's, it's beautifully balanced, it really is. And you can see that this is mild enough that I can use it against the grain on my face, which is always nice. I think there was nearly some buffing going on there, wasn't there? That's a very nice, very nice third pass. And there we are, that is my shave. Very favourable first impressions with this razor. There's no blade tabs sneaking over the edge there. But the top of the head cap is slightly indented, just so you can take the razor blade away nice and easily. There we are, just so you can pull the blade out like that. Works really well. Really a nice design feature. Ooh. 
So I would say that, despite that lack of blade feel, that is definitely a mid-level riser. It feels in some ways very similar to the Makur 34G that quite by chance I used in the last shave. I can feel there are areas of my neck just down here and maybe here where I've had a really close shave. It's a lot smoother than the uh, 34G but I've yet to try different razor blades in that razor. But this one, the 921M, is a very effective it's very effective very good shave I would possibly suggest that excuse me <coughs> I would possibly suggest that if the Makur 34G or 34C suits you then this 921M stainless steel riser will also suit you. Uh, very nice, very nice indeed. So Jacob and Ashley, thank you very much. I will put details in the description to this video so you can check that out. I'm gonna use some Pro Rasso today. Pro Rasso Green Splash. I've actually ordered from the English Shaving Company, which is the website for um, Edwin Jagger. I've ordered some Prorasso White Shaving Soap and some Prorasso White Balm. And I also got the aftershave for my Abata Ilamantia. Don Jose soap. So I'll be all set up there. Now that was a fantastic shave. I hope you have enjoyed spending time with me today. Thank you for being part of my shave. I hope you have a good one yourselves. Take care and I'll see you very soon. All the best now. Bye bye.